everyone's company. Our kind of company. Hello, I'm Jacob Lomax, and I'm going to be your guide to the strangest films of all time, and in this episode I'm doing a, a eulogy to Susan Bernard, who recently passed away. She's one of the stars of the greatest cult film of all time, Faster Pussycat Kill Kill, even though you probably wouldn't know it because she's, and rightfully so, overshadowed by the three other pussycats, Tura Satana, Lori Williams, and Haji. In a regular film, you would root for her and be on her side, but this is a Russ Meyer film, and he was certainly a filmmaker who understood the idea of a cinematic universe way before anyone else did. And in the world of Russ Meyer, it's surreal, bizarre, oversexed, hilarious, and often cruel. So, we, you know, even though she's our heroine, we really are rooting for the villainesses to kind of abuse and use her the whole time. All that you give cover. Yes, sir. Man, we're sure moving fast. Top of suit, pop top cans. We got two more cars to go, eight ball. Don't make a career out of them. The film is fantastic, and if you've never seen it, please do yourself a favor because it's got to be one of the greatest independent films ever produced in the 1960s, and Russ Meyer really was a maverick of independent filmmaking, as well as being really proto-feminist, and just really, it's a very postmodern movie, even though there's many elements that signify the sign of its times, which was 1965, it also often feels like a movie that would be produced or written today. You really don't like them, do you? It's kicks. But I'm not under contract to them, and I got a strong feeling option time is right around the corner. Don't let it bug you. You just be a good kid. Otherwise, we're both in big trouble. Susan Bernard's career never really took off. She's probably most famous for this film, but she did oversee her father's work, who was known as Bernard of Hollywood, who specialized in Hollywood movie stills, and most famously his work with Marilyn Monroe. So look out there. That's what you're living with, a couple of real Boy Scouts. <laughs> Susan Bernard's performance is rarely that sympathetic. It's more annoying, and I think you really are supposed to root for the evil pussycats. They're anti-superheroes, if you will, even though they're billed on the poster as superwomen, belted, booted, and buckled. They're not superheroes. They're hardly even supervillains. They're not here to save the day. They're here to fuck shit up and haunt your sexual nightmares. Russ Meyer movies are still copied to this day. They were so influential. You see it in music videos, and it's really tattooed itself on the memory of popular culture. And I think, uh, you know, everything about this film kind of that's praising it has been said. But I just wanted to note that it was not very popular when it first came out. Russ Meyer produced a film the same year called Motor Psycho, which was about three young men hoodlums that terrorized a small desert community. So, and it was a huge success. Uh, and he decided to do the same thing only with three women instead and you know it didn't make any money at the box office and it was really poorly received by critics and just seen as something that was done in just total poor taste uh, unlike today where it's known as this kind of fabulous classic of cult cinema. To emphasize its original unpopularity, I just wanted to read a review by James Powers from when the film originally debuted. Faster Pussycat Kill Kill is the unimaginative, meaningless title of a sordid sex film exploiting perversion, violence, and murder. It'll probably be a big item on the grimy grindhouses along 42nd Street and other such exhibition haunts. Other exhibitors should be warned away. Russ Meyer produced it with his wife Eve and directed and edited himself. Meyer has displayed in the past a talent for filmmaking and knowledge for what can be done with film and the facility of for doing it. Unfortunately, he seems to have no judgment what, whatsoever about what to do with this talent. Either that or he deliberately debasing it and his audiences with the most superficial sensational presentation of vicious, the depraved, and the mentally ill. Faster Pussycat is in the class that bare bosom nudies, but far worse than those simple minded cheapies. This is a sick picture for sick people. Now, I want to just let everybody know that I am a sick person for sick pictures, and this is one of my absolute favorites, and will probably be yours once you view it, and uh, uh, multiple viewings are probably required. 
Uh, thank you so much for watching Strangest Films. My name is Jacob Lomax, and I'm here to, you know, purvey and share these kind of filthy, weird, bizarre films. If you know of any strange film maybe you don't think I know about or that I should know about or maybe that you want me to make a video of, please leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. I really appreciate everyone watching. Thank you.